Okay, uh, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at making the peace scene, and we're also going to be discussing a little bit about inheritance. So the way that inheritance works in Godot is actually pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new scene, and you can do that one of a few different ways. You can click the plus button, you can go to scene and choose new scene, um, but we're just going to make a new scene. Now, over here in my scene tree, this needs to have a root node. And so for me, I'm just going to use that as a node 2D. And then as a child of my node 2D, uh, I'm going to add a sprite. Now there's more that's going to go into uh, these pieces, but for now, I'm just going to have my main piece have a node 2D and a sprite. Now the art that I made for this is 128 by 128, but I have my whole grid set up as if it's 64 by 64. So before I go any further, I'm going to go to my transform on my sprite. I'm going to change my scale to be 0.5 by 0.5. So that's going to take any sprite and just make it one quarter the size. So if I'm going from 128 by 128, but I really want it to be 64 by 64, I need to make it a quarter the size. Now I'm going to save this scene with just that, and I'm going to call it uh, not node 2D, but piece. And then I should probably rename my node here too. Uh, okay, cool. Now, I'm going to be using this as a template from which all other pieces are going to inherit. So because every piece has to have a position, a node, and then also a sprite that goes with it. So when I create a new scene for my pieces, I'm going to go to scene. I'm going to choose a new inherited scene so that I can inherit and I'm going to inherit from the piece scene. Now this new scene that I make already has um, the node and the sprite. So let's add some art to our game here. So if we go to that folder that I have with all the assets in it, and we have the pieces, I'm just gonna drag that whole pieces folder in here. Oh, I can't do that. I guess I gotta make my own pieces folder. I'm gonna call this pieces, and then inside the pieces folder, I'm going to add everything from the pieces folder on that asset pack. So let's open this up, grab all of these, and drag them into there. There we go. So today I'm just really interested in the regular pieces, the ones that don't have any, any stripes on them. And I have a whole bunch of different colors on here because um, I wasn't completely sure which colors I wanted to use, but I used them anyway. Uh, okay, cool. So my first piece I'm going to make is going to be a blue piece. So blue underscore piece, Not pieces, piece. And I'm going to go to my sprite and just pull in the regular blue piece onto the texture. So there we go. There's our first piece. Now I'm going to save this scene. Uh, and now it's not saving as piece, it's saving as what I renamed it to. So I'm going to save this as blue piece. Now I'm going to create five more scenes that are going to inherit from piece. So I'm going to kind of fast forward as I do that. Uh, but we're going to go to new inherited scene. We want to inherit from piece. Open. We want to rename it to whatever it is. This one is going to be green piece now. So green underscore piece. I'm going to go to the sprite and then change the sprite to be, or the texture to be that green piece sprite. And then save this. I'm going to do that four more times for my other colors. So I'll fast forward through that. You can try that on your own and I'll meet you back here. All right, okay, welcome back. So I've made my blue piece, my green piece, my light green piece, orange, pink, and yellow. So those are the different pieces I'm gonna be using for my match three game. Now, um, today we've talked about just creating, up, creating these other nodes and about the idea of inheritance. Now the reason that inheritance is so important now is I'm going to be using the same basic script on all six of these pieces. So what I could do is I could write that same script um, every time, or I could add that script to my main piece, and then since all of these inherit from that, on any change I make to piece is going to automatically be given to all of these. 
So if I add another child node, um, if I add a script, if I change the visibility or material, if I do anything to this, it's going to automatically be applied to all of the children. And that's why inheritance is kind of so important in object-oriented programming, is it allows you to create um, some shortcuts for the, for the most part. So yeah, those are our scenes. Um, we still have our main game scene. Next time we're gonna talk about how to add our child scenes to the main game scene. Um, so that it actually looks like a match three game. So uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. If you learned anything today, feel free to give me a like. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. You can join my Discord where I'm chatting pretty much every day. And yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.